Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new vlog. So I haven't been vlogging for the past week or so. Dropped the video yesterday, but I was like, you know what, let's tune in for today. Today is Tuesday, March 7th. We are currently at Johnny Dang and Company. I'm trying to get like some new pieces here. I basically just wanted to get better. You guys know that I lifted my little grill thing right here. I just wanted to get like some two top pieces over there to kind of like complete the full look. I'm gonna go in there. I'm not gonna read the camera in there because it's kind of weird to bring the camera around people. I'm just gonna make this a private thing. I'm gonna come back to you guys and tell you guys everything that happened. If we were able to get a mold today and then get that out of the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down and then get back to you guys after I get that done. Ice tray on nigga flooded. All right, so we just made it back from Johnny Dang. Um, I documented the whole process of getting the grill like on my phone. I just didn't feel like, the lady was super cool and shit and I was thinking about bringing my camera out to show you guys on my camera, but like, I don't feel like doing all that. I'll probably post the clips and shit and I'll make like a TikTok. Literally, I got the grill. Pretty easy, honestly. They just get a mold of your teeth. I already explained before I went in, but the, what, what I'm gonna do is I got one open face one. That's gonna be like kind of like a gold highlight on this side. And on the other side is gonna be better, which is gonna be another open face, but it says like better in old English, kind of going like that. Even the lady, I mean, maybe she was just being a saleswoman, but she was like, oh, that's gonna look so dope. You have great teeth because they're so big and it's gonna look great. And I was like, Thanks. She made me feel good. Say thank. Now looking back at it, she was probably just trying to make some money. So today is squat day. Today is gonna be pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like I said, we're building back up. So I'm looking at the program. I probably have like something like an RP six to seven with like maybe like a three by eight or some shit. Oh no, nah, we good. We got an RP six and then a two by eight. Damn. So my workouts will be really fast, but just I might add in a little bit of leg accessories just to like spice things up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna meet Cranon at the gym. Y'all know that Bella has a TikTok? I didn't know that. <laughs> you need to get over your fear of like recording in front of people. What's what's so scary? <laughs> what's so scary about recording in front of people? Because I just feel like I'm being looked at. I'm gonna teach you a lesson right here on YouTube. Rule of thumb, no one gives a fuck. Does that make sense? Like they'll look at you and literally forget in like five minutes. People might be watching you. I feel like that too. Like I didn't want to bring my fucking camera inside Johnny Dang, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. And I just didn't feel like it. But then like I literally asked the lady, I was like, is it cool if I film my phone? She's like, yeah, I don't care. She's like, yeah, she's like, ask me, are you ready to start filming or whatever? I'm like not shy. I don't know why I just get weird. Just, you just need more practice. Rule of thumb, if you guys are recording in public or recording any type of TikTok or any type of content, people will literally forget in like in two seconds. Like I see people recording all the time and I'm like, I just look at them and then I immediately forget what just happened. So, I don't know, just rule of thumb. Just so like you're not like super awkward in public or like, yeah. you're like, oh, I would love to record this or something. Yeah. And then you just don't do it because you're too scared. God damn. Hey, y'all motherfuckers were not playing. You said we're gonna clean the warehouse up. Work, yeah. yeah, there used to be boxes goddamn everywhere. All right, I'll catch y'all later. Appreciate y'all. She looks so I mad. What? I'm waiting mad? for you. Are you mad? No, I'm editing the video. Are you mad? Look how jacked are you? No, I'm mad that you're late and that you're never on time. Yet. Bro, I said two. I said 1.32. It's 2.31. Well, I got here at two. No, you didn't. I was gonna text you like, and you can't even get here at two. You said 1.30. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop recording because that's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I said it wasn't gonna be like a heavy day. Honestly, the 725 was damn near, it was like RP six and a half. It was fast, yeah, I'm fucking moving fast. I wish I had footage of it. I was sure I'm like be able to overlay something, but um, it was pretty solid. So like, granted, what's the biggest like difference you've noticed from like, maybe like a cue that I've given you? Cause you just blew up 405 today. Yeah. The and your all time best is 407. The cues that you give me that's out? Yeah, so if any. You, you, all of them, you, you can be honest, if it doesn't help, it doesn't no, help. It helps. It's a strong walkout, but mainly like the mental stuff. Like the, you were, the mental stuff. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. remind me like it's really a mental game. Like I know I'm stronger than you know what I think, but yeah. you know it's really just like the mental stuff. Applying everything correct, the walkout from the feet, the feet, the thing you told me today, the feet thing. Yeah, that feeling out in the heels, it just makes you feel yeah. the weight more. So it's like it's almost like it doesn't creep up on you when you squat. It. That makes sense. Yeah. And the um, you be telling me all, all that rushing, trying to get it over with, because yeah, 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 yeah. That do not. No, work. I can tell you get super like anxious for the lift, so you kind of almost get to get over with. But it's like you gotta take your time and like embrace the moment, cause like I think the biggest thing it's like some lifts you're shy away from that feeling, and you're not really supposed to do that. Like you're supposed to like lean into it and just like accept it. If that makes sense. That's, that shit sounds so deep. I spot with you, bro. <laughs> bro be teaching me all the tricks. <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna drop the weight down to probably like four, four ninety five. We won the day. Maybe five. I want to say maybe four, five forty five for a first set of eight, and then maybe four ninety five for the second set of eight. I'm, I came into today's session just pissed, man. Like I've just been mad. I've been fucking mad for the past like couple of weeks, man. And it just feels good to be able to like come in and use that anger to my advantage and just live like a demon. So it just feels good. So once again, we're gonna drop the weight down, get these uh, volume sets out of the way, and then finish up this workout. A few moments later. Good. Good. Take your time. There you go. Breathe. Take your time. Last rep. Good. part of your training so just go ahead and take i mean joey texted me he said make sure she puts up the way
face like ow Self the man of the ow The rain slips slow like 10 million a season Queen Street visions that nobody believed in If we not on the charts, my ex on the Back then it used to just manifest the things I And look now, I mean it's hard to believe it Each of my heart like you more when you working towards my peers In recent years as I get established Unforgiving times, but fuck it, I'm in and as for Q, man, I changed his life a couple times Nigga was at Kroger working double time Y'all acting like he made the boy when I was trying to oh, Me and Smigs on the loose in the city You know how the rest go Okay, so we have reached the end of this video I'm not gonna lie to you guys uh, For those of you guys that Know what's about what I'm about to address. I mean, you can stay here, but the people that do not give a fuck about the positive community and the drama and shit like that, you can go ahead and dip. Um, and I'm going to be very, I'm going to be somewhat vague. So like, if you're not in the positive community and you're not with the, if you're not in like in the know how and all that kind of stuff, this isn't going to benefit you very much. Um, but I do, I did want to address this just because, um, my coach, which is more than a coach, he's like my friend and mentor. Uh, he was attacked and his business was attacked. And I just wanted to make this video, in response to that, just to defend his honor and defend his name. Um, but over the weekend, during the Arnold weekend, I made, uh, I've had, I've had like this, uh, this competitive beef with the lifter and, um, supposedly I kicked him when he was down and, uh, I'm not gonna call, I'm not gonna chop this up either. Uh, anyways, I've like kind of tried to record this like a couple of times just because it makes me a little bit uncomfortable because I don't want to get too into it because I'm not trying to go back and forth via social media and like make this a whole thing. Um, but yeah, I just I you know we had I had a, I had posted what I posted this this weekend and I had to say I had I said what I thought about Elizabeth's performance and um, his coach went ahead and made a response video about it, but in the Miss of that, he definitely came on my coach and and tried to tear down his business, and insinuated that my coach has not has basically like just not he doesn't deserve to be in the space anymore, and that the space would be kind of better off without him, and just trying to say that he is shysty, all you know, just all this kind of stuff, man. And I typically don't address stuff like this, but for me personally, I could take whatever. Um, I signed that contract myself when I started posting about that dude, um, that, you know, anything could happen. Um, so I, I'm not even tripping too much about what he said to about me on that. I will say very briefly, um, that when it comes to that, you, you guys have to be very careful about who you trust whenever someone, um, takes that route. Everything he presented was very, uh, biased and one-sided and it's not the full story. Um, and you know, I've never had a, f a friend quote unquote, use me for, sorry, I thought someone was just walking by, use me for not clickbait, but just like the, the video started by saying this isn't clickbait. And it was definitely like, not that it was clickbait or like up for cloud or anything like that, but it's like that conversation, that whole thing, had he just messaged me or talked to me, which he has my number and he claims that we're like really close. Um, that could have been cleared up. Um, but I'm not even, I don't, I don't really trip about that. I, we're going to have our conversation. Um, but what I do want to do is defend my coach. Um, I feel as though my coach took an unnecessary hit with that and okay, we're coming up on three minutes and I just want to keep this short cause I'm not trying to talk about this shit. Um, I just wanted to defend my coach and kind of give you guys a backstory as to like what he has done for me personally and what I've seen him do for other people. Um, just give a testimony to kind of refute like the, the, the stuff that I heard in that video. Cause I was just like, that's number one. I was watching the back half of that video and I was like, this is like not true. And a lot of that stuff like was not like, it, there's other sides to that coin. And, um, and I'll have a closing statement on this, but back in 2017, I told myself that I wanted to be one of the top lifters in the Federation, which was the USAPL that I was competing in. And I wanted to do everything in my power to make that happen. Um, and at this time I was switching coaches and I wanted to help. I wanted to find someone that was gonna help me take to the next level. And I came upon Joey Flex. I did my research. Um, I did my research and I looked at all of his lifters and I looked at like the community he was building, the way he spoke to his lifters, like the community, all that kind of stuff. And he just had this, this aura and like this way of communicating with people that I personally liked. And I was like, wow, this guy's like, this guy's really dope. Let me see what he's about. So we, 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 we started messaging back and forth. Um, we eventually agreed to start working together. I told him my goals and, um, we started, we just started building 
and he helped me win my first nationals. He was a big part of that. I mean, I was I was a good lifter before. I was a top five lifter, and I feel as though he put me in position to be number one. Um, obviously, I did my work, but he definitely like with the way that he spoke to me, the way that he made, the way the way that he made me feel comfortable, like in the back room, on the platform, all that kind of stuff. Just his knowledge and um, his his demeanor on game day. Um, just made me feel very, 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 very comfortable. And I mean, since 2017, we've been on a journey. Like we have been on an absolute journey, and he has been by my side this whole time. Like, but like, like before GBT, before the gym, before like uh, me bringing people on, before like all of this kind of stuff. He he was there with me, and he was there hyping me up. Not even with the lifting stuff. Like this is beyond lifting. This is like this is stuff with just like. Like being able to run a business and be able to okay, we're running on five minutes. Being able to run a business, being able to 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 grow as a man, to be able to grow as an individual, relationships, like just like talking to each other like men and building each other up and like figuring out how we are gonna navigate life. We figured that shit out together. And I've seen him do that with other people, other lifters, all the times that he has I have like pleaded with him to take more time off because this man works around the clock. His life is centered around coaching. Like he ha like he lives like a, a hermit because he puts so much into his coaching and to see a video where um someone's trying to tear that down and say that he doesn't care about his lifters and you know he only cares about the top lifters and all that because kind of that's not true i've not I, that's it's furthest from the truth um uh so it it's just very unfortunate i've just seen all the lives that he's changed like i i've, I've been a witness to it i've seen other lifters leave their coaches and come to um, you know, the flex umbrella and just flourish and, and just have these great, amazing stories. And like, I feel like whenever you get into like the name calling and the finger pointing, anyone could do that. You could, I could provide receipts for a lot of different stuff. Like that's the dangerous game. Like you could, you could provide receipts and create a narrative and, um, you could create whatever narrative you want. Every coach has dirty laundry, like quote unquote, right? Um, to me, it's just all miscommunication, uh, miscommunications, to be honest with you. So that's why I thought that that whole video was just interesting because like the coaches that um, the coaches that that dude surrounds himself too with. I'm like, bro, like there's there's dirt on everybody. There's I'm sure there's dirt on you, too. And it's just like we all have to be very careful when people act holier than thou. I don't I mean, I, I I'm not a perfect person. Um, I've never been. Uh, you guys see my flaws. I would hope so. Um, some people think I'm too arrogant. Some people think I'm too confident. But that's who I am, and I'm not changing who I am. Um, that's who I am, and that's who I've always. That's always. That's always who I've been. Um, and you guys just have to be very weary when you guys get into these, um, to these like back and forth, these beefs, these dramas, and like like oh, who has the receipts, this, that, and third. It's just like man, I pay attention to the experiences that real life people have with this person. And it's just like, if you go talk and, and touch the lives of other people, I think you're on a good path and there's always going to be conjecture. There's always going to be people that uh, have bad experiences with you. And that's just life, you know? So I just wanted to stand up for my coach and uh, just say like, he's impacted my life in a beautiful way. I do not think I would be the man I am today because uh, without jo uh, Joseph Franzo. And I just feel as though that it, it takes it takes a community to stand up and uh, sing his praises because I have noticed, um, you know, when whenever you're doing like a lot of good and whenever you're successful, there's always going to be detractors because you become the common denominator. And um, that's fine. Heavy is the head that wears a crown. Um, but yeah, I just I just wanted to get on here and say that I typically don't do stuff like this. I don't like getting like messy and the back and forth and stuff like that. Um, I'm going to talk to this real close friend in person and we're going to hash things out. But, um, that's pretty much it. I think, I think I covered all my bases here. I'm just trying to think in my head if there's anything else I wanted to say. I think, uh, I think that's pretty much it. And, um, the drama stuff, I mean, Hey man, you know, it is what it is. Um, what's funny is that someone started tweeting me. It's like, Hey man, I've been following you since 2018 and you know, your confidence and arrogance has gotten to your head. And, um, I would say I'll, I'll leave off on this. I'll say this. Um, I am not the same man that I was in 2017. I, I'm not, it's impossible. I would have went insane. Had I remained that same person? Like 
there's a lot of things that I've seen. There's a lot of things that I had to do. I, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of growth that I had to have in order to get to this point. Like, I feel like if you're the same person you were like six, seven years ago, you're probably just like not progressing. Um, so whenever people hit me with that line, I don't take it as a negative. I'm not the same person. Um, the core of me is the same, but there's different life experiences that I've experienced that have just gotten me to this point of, of just like understanding like life. And I'm not done growing either. And this video is getting at zero minutes. There's no room left. And I'm saddened that I put 10 minutes on this thing. But yeah, man, don't pay attention to the beef. I hope that this ends. My, my coach is going to continue defending himself. I know that much. And I'm going to have a personal conversation with the individual that made the video. So sorry for all this bullshit. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like always, like today's video. <laughs> Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh my God, I get better today. Oh, wow, man.